Today is the day that you will run the historic Boston Marathon. You are ready to successfully navigate the 26.2 mile trek from Hopkinton to Boston. Your nerves may be difficult to manage as you ride the bus from Boston to the Athletes Village in Hopkinton. You should get as comfortable as possible once you arrive in the Athletes Village. Focus on what it will feel like to fulfill a dream of a lifetime. Little butterflies in the stomach. Um, visualizing the course, we've been running it. A uh, little bit of nerves. I mean, the weather is not looking too great out there, but that's okay. I think that, um, you know, once we get going and once we start, it'll, it'll all settle and we'll be ready to go. So this year I'm running for my dad, who in December was diagnosed with lung cancer and was treated at South Shore. I would never be able to run the marathon if I wasn't a charity runner, so John Hancock, thank you so much. Oh, thanks, John Hancock, it was awesome. This is, this is basically a big milestone in my life. You can't imagine how many spectators, family and friends are going to be inspired by your effort. I'll be thinking about the people that donate to me, the people that have been lost to cancer, knowing that hopefully they're out there helping me get to the finish line. So here on race day in Hopkinton, it's 41 and rainy, but it feels like 26. Once you're in the starting corral, remain calm and determined to be conservative for the first four miles. Stay mentally strong for miles 15 to 17. There are fewer spectators on this stretch and it's mostly uphill. Once you crest Heartbreak Hill, you only have five miles to the finish line. As you enter Kenmore Square, it's time to rock and roll. You are about to be treated like a rock star. Take a left onto Boylston Street and let the emotions go and the celebration begin. People were out there, even though the weather was ridiculous, like people were out there screaming and just having a great time. I have a friend battling cancer right now, Dana Condit. I ran for Dana. Thought about it my whole race. Cried a couple of times. I cry now. When I think about what John Hancock does and by donating these numbers uh, and sponsoring them like this, it's really thank you so much. I knew what to expect except for the hail and the rain and the and wet the shoes. Um, but I thought, of, I thought of my dad, I thought of Christine's mom throughout the whole race, thought of everyone that donated for us, thought of John Hancock for making it possible for us to get the bibs. It was just, it was awesome. It was. You are now Boston Marathon finishers forever for the rest of your life. Congratulations.